As the legislative session in Sacramento comes to a close, lawmakers will consider a bill to require nursing homes to better account for the billions of taxpayer dollars they take in each year. The State Assembly Committee on Health will hear Senate Bill 650 to require nursing homes to provide detailed financial reports that include transactions with any vendors in which they own more than a 5 percent interest. State Senator Henry Stern of Los Angeles sponsored the bill. Unless we actually know the nature of these related party transactions, there's an ability to erect a very insidious shell game of moving money around and not knowing where it is that we could be seeing billions of dollars in waste and abuse. Opponents of the bill say it puts too big a regulatory burden on an industry that's reeling from COVID-19. Rallies in support of the bill and the care economy in general take place today in L.A. and Oakland. Bianca Castro with AARP California says COVID exposed longstanding problems with short staffing. She notes state data show more than 110,000 nursing home residents and staff had become infected as of May. The time is now to hold nursing home operators accountable. Over 9,000 lives were lost. That includes residents and staff. Union leader Arnulfo de la Cruz with SEIU 2015 says some nursing home corporations use what he calls accounting tricks with affiliated companies to extract profits from rent, supplies, and more. It's shining a light on the lack of transparency by some of California's largest nursing home employers is a fundamental step towards our vision for a long-term care system that puts care first, not profit. Tony Chikatel with California Advocates for Nursing Home Reform says these concerns predate the pandemic. The nursing homes know their costs, they know their profits, and the state simply doesn't. This lack of transparency results in the state getting ripped off, paying for the private jets and vacation homes of nursing home owners instead of the staff and resources critical for resident well-being. A recent state auditor's report found from 2006 to 2015, three of the state's biggest nursing home corporations grew substantially and their related party transactions soared, even as deficiencies that caused serious harm or death to residents increased by 35 percent. This is Suzanne Potter for Nevada News Service. Find our eight trust indicators to support transparency and accuracy at publicnewsservice.org.